red velvet and cream cheese is a nice combo. Wow, that is some nice freaking chocolate filling. Wow. Look at that right there, bro. Wow. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It is like as of um, maybe two days. No, actually, I lied. It's been like a single day from the last video where I checked out four cookies from Mega Licious Cookies, and I actually ordered um, five cookies to be here before the holidays. Um, and as you can hear, that my voice is a bit altered because I tried out baking um, some cookies myself. And I guess I messed up with my flower combination and the result is I caught a cold. So with that said, we're going to have a few things today because today is cheat day, um, like cheat cheat day. So first thing we're going to start off here is my breakfast high protein waffles. And then we have some donuts to go pick up at seven o'clock. It is now currently. So. With that said, high protein waffles right here. Pretty clutch stuff. I'm gonna focus. There we go. Pretty clutch stuff, man. And, you know, just love the way these damn things just hold on to like the syrup, bruh. Like, oh my goodness. It's, it makes it so nice and like soft and moist. The one thing I really hate about when you catch a cold though is just like how your sinuses just alter your voice. It's just so weird, but. So now when I show you, it will take seconds. Look at that, bro. Wow. It's 6.37 now, <laughs> and we will go reach out, reach out. We will go pick up them donuts, and then we'll have them here now. Um, I do have to go to work, you know, that's a thing. Uh, but I go on vacation after today. So, um, I'm gonna go pick them up. Should be done by 7 a.m. I should be there by like 6.50. Um, most likely I'm gonna come back here, eat them, and then go to work. Cause you know, I go to work at like eight o'clock. It's all of like almost seven. So waking up at 5.30 in the morning, always clutch. So with that said, I will see you in a moment. Beautiful stuff we got going on here. And actually, they actually prepared it just a little earlier. It is 7.02 right now and we're back. So pretty good and um, should sound a little bit better. I, uh, my nasal passages has cleared up just a little bit. But um, so we got six donuts here. Let's hope, let's hope they got them on all correct this time. All right. Okay, I so wish they did. Um, oh boy. You know, do I like suck really bad in the opening stuff? What the heck? Oof, there we go. Ooh, yes they did. So we got three of the um, holiday donuts and then two Reese's donuts here at the bottom and then one cake batter donut at the top so looking from your uh, top right that is the cake batter donut and then to the left of that is the festive tree 
and then under that one is Santa's belly and then right here with the nice um, little I think it's like a little cookie on top is a um, nice present is what they call it and then in the bottom here we got two Reese's peanut butter chocolate donuts so if you've seen me in the past though um, I've definitely checked out the Reese's peanut butter um, before so what we will do is just check out um, well well we'll check out the Christmas ones first and let's see here so starting off with the festive tree it is a red veil red velvet cake batter um, filled with some um, cream cheese topping and hand decorated tree star on the top so wow oh wow let let's really start this cheat day that's really good I love me some red velvet and red velvet and cream cheese is a nice combo mm. I really like that red velvet filling this one is the Santa's belly donut which is a chocolate cream filled donut dipped in red icing and sanding sugar decorated with chocolate icing and the sugar piece as the belt. So you can go from the entry point here. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, that is some nice freaking chocolate filling. Wow. And then the, like this, sanded sugar, crazy, crazy combo with the red icing. I like it. And then, of course, like the base donut itself is pretty fluffy. Mm. All right. So this right here is the nice present donut um, which is a sugar cookie cream filled donut dipped in green icing decorated with red icing and it topped with a nice sugar piece wow 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 mm, 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 mm. it's just the smells going on here in front of me it's just crazy mm. oh man it's subtle but like pretty good that sugar cookie filling with that um the sugar piece on top it's subtle but wow so the fourth donut here is the cake batter donut and this is a um basically celebrating birthday it's filled with cake batter cream uh topped with yellow icing bright confetti sprinkles and apparently it's really perfect for a party Boom, boom, checking that out now. That cake batter filling is like really sweet. I like, I like. All right, and so the last two donuts are the Reese's Classic Donut. Um, and this is a uh, filled with Reese's peanut butter cream dipped in Hershey's chocolate icing topped with mini peanut butter cups or peanut butter chips um, and a drizzle of chocolate and Reese's peanut butter sauce. Sauce. Last time I checked it out, it was crazy delicious because you know I love me, my chocolate peanut butter combo. Mm. Mm. That peanut butter cream filling It's like very light But definitely Definitely like it, they, they probably like mixed it up with some like um, Vanilla icing or something
And that's all six donuts down the hatch. I'm crazy surprised I actually finished that. 721. And what we're gonna do is just chill for a bit before we go to work. And then I will catch you for lunch. Um, I might, if I do, I might um, go to Cineholic and like eat in my car, or I will go to Cineholic, get the stuff, come back here, eat, and then go back to work. Um, I think, I think what I'll do is get, set up my camera in my car and film in my car because that would make more logical sense. So, with that said, I will see you in like five hours. <laughs> All right, guys. So, it is now lunchtime. We've successfully acquired our Cineholic hall here. And um, let me set up here so I can, I don't have my monitor with me. So, I have to use my phone to make sure that I'm in focus. <laughs> so, like I said, we was gonna stop at Cineholic, and that's exactly what we did. And, you know, if you didn't know already, it's National Cookie Day. Um, so, we got a free chocolate chip cookie, or they have the Cinnadoodle cookie, which is like a snickerdoodle type flavor as well, depending on, you know, whichever you fancy. So this here is called Santa's Milk and Cookies, which looks freaking amazing. And then this is the um, Gingerbread House. I took a quick look at it. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the Gingerbread House. This one I definitely did um, get right for sure, which was the uh, Pecan Pie with a Cinnadoodle um, cookie dough on top. Or essentially it would be um, Snickerdoodle flavor, so cinnamon sugar action happening there. So with that said, we can dig in and you know, I think the first thing that I would probably wanna check out actually is Santa's milk and cookies. So, man, oh man. I mean, I actually want to see uh, what we have here. So, so it has marshmallow frosting, Oreos, and chocolate chip cookie bites um, with powdered sugar, which is freaking amazing. And then we have, for the gingerbread house, it's a cinnamon roll with uh, gingerbread frosting topped with homemade cinnadoodle cookie bites. Graham um, graham cookies and sprinkles. So first thing I'm gonna do is just I always gotta cut it first um, For my first bite and then like getting the rest of it is always an easy task Or you know, you can always eat it like a donut. I've seen people do it. I just Rather not there we go. So take a look at that that's freaking sick right there. Yo, crazy stuff. So that's a cinnamon roll with an Oreo cookie and the frosting that they got on here. Yeah, that's this is some good stuff. This marshmallow frosting, A1. Here's the last little bit left of this first cinnamon roll. Crazy. Yo, like Oreos and these cookies. Man, it's a beautiful combination with the uh, marshmallow frosting. Mm.
Now we have the gingerbread house, which is, it was stacked up a little taller, but as I was driving to the parking spot, it looks like it fell over a little bit, but totally fine. Went all out here. Ooh, yeah. Just that little bit from the fork there was, was pretty, pretty crazy. So, boom, take a look at that. Some crazy stuff here, yo. You know, I wouldn't say I'm the biggest fan of gingerbread too, but like, man, does it taste good. there bro wow mm. and then that's our last bite here of the gingerbread house Last but not least, the pecan pie cinnamon roll with cinnamon doodle cookie dough on top. And you know I love me some damn snickerdoodle. And you know what's crazy too is like I um I don't know what type of frosting is the frosting is like caramelly. Um, but um, my first time having pecans actually was when I checked out the um, November themed brownies from Buckeye Brownies where they had those candied pecans and um, uh, pecan cookies and whatnot. Those were freaking delicious. And so pretty sure this is going to definitely set the bar probably even higher for my pecan experience. Oh, and it looks like there's some like oats in here too. Take a look at that. Wow. Definitely some caramel. I think it's probably caramel frosting happening here too. That was definitely a freaking beautiful combo. That is ridiculous. This will probably happen in two bites. I'm not gonna force it. I know how to put these flavors together. Let's not forget National Cookie Day. So we gotta enjoy their chocolate chip cookie. They also have a Cinnadoodle cookie, which of course, as the name suggests, a Snickerdoodle flavor. And that's it there. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. They make all of this stuff in-house too. And it's a nice cookie. This cookie is crazy soft. Yo, I am full, holy cow. And my time limit pretty much was 1 p.m. to do, um, to eat as much as I can. So the morning, you know, we had our waffles and followed up by six donuts, the um, holiday themed uh, donuts from Krispy Kreme. And now we got this, um, all within my six hour window. Um, that's pretty much like, what I've been doing now too. Um, so without, if it wasn't a cheat day, I would have just had the waffles and I would have made like some stir fry pasta um, as my two meals for the day. But like these three meals that I had within six hours is probably more than enough because this is probably well over 5,000 calories to be honest, because one cinnamon roll without toppings is like 720 calories. So if we had the three cinnamon rolls with the toppings, that's easily like, let's say, 1400 calories each 1428 um bad math 
32? 32? 48, 42. 42. Um, a thousand calories. And then on top of the donuts that we just had, like, wow. Yeah, so we, we easily pushed over 5,000 calories. Um, as well as that cookie was like 370 calories. Um, do I feel bad? No. Am I still hungry? No. Can I still eat? Yeah. But, you know, we're not going to do all of that. <laughs> um, I still want to maintain my fasting. Um, my six, my six, 18 uh, fasting schedule, um, which is like 6 a.m. to about 1 p.m. Or depending whenever I actually eat. So it could be 6 a.m. or 8 a.m. Um, but since I started at 6 a.m., 1 p.m. is my limit. And I feel good. And, you know, uh, it was a good cheat day. As well as it's going to turn into a cheat week. Because we're going to make our way to Orlando tomorrow. And we're going to try and enjoy some food out there too. It won't go crazy though. With that said, hope you enjoyed today's cheat day. Although it's not an entire day. Um, it's an entire day of me eating, I guess. Because, um, you know, after 1 p.m. or 2 p.m., I don't really indulge in food anymore i just kind of drink water um to just have my body fully use all the calories that i've just consumed um so that's what i'll be doing i hope you enjoyed i hope you loved it man i wish i was able to like really record these things i would say better like you know me walking into cineholic and things like that too i feel like that would have been a nice thing to do um probably in time as i get better used to this communication happening um but nonetheless we got i got a lot of videos ahead of this one that i still haven't done yet this is like cheat day 16 i believe and i'm still editing cheat day 11 so man <laughs> with that said i digress i will catch you guys on the next cheat day